Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. We last left off inside the city after uh, completing a whole load of quests in there. Today we are going to be doing quite a bit of combat and uh, going back to the Conjurer's Guild at the end of it all to let them know what the results are. So, let's get started. And there's the ground scrolls that was uh, creating such a nuisance for the uh, Lancer's Guild. So we'll just throw a few stones at those guys. Oh, wait, I've actually attacked a ladybug. Never mind, though. We need those as well for to um, get the scarlet oil that somebody requested. Experience points. Don't think I need to uh, explain that to you guys. It's just experience. But uh, the person who attacks the target first will always get 100% of the experience. Uh, whoever attacks afterwards will get it based on their contribution to the battle. Uh, binding items. So it means that you collect will uh, be soul bound to you basically. May be basically mean that you can't uh, trade them to other characters, other players. Um, pretty straightforward again. Right, back to the killing. Another ladybug. Uh, stone. I kind of feel bad having to kill uh, squirrels. Not like they've really done that much wrong apart from uh, doing a little bit of damage to uh, some building. <laughs> And let's kill another ladybug. Uh, how many more do we need after this? This one should be the last. Oh, and we've leveled up. Uh, forest Longhorns, did I need this last uh, squirrel? Uh, we did. Bonk. And finish them off with uh, error. Finish them off, start them off, even. That's a uh, damage over time ability. Right, one more ladybug. Well, in this case, we actually need a few more ladybugs. One of the great things uh, with this game is uh, you don't actually need to loot the enemies, it automatically gets looted for you. As you can see, uh, the items just go straight into your bag there. Animal skin. There's probably been a few other things I've picked up, but uh, I haven't noticed just yet. Damage over time with arrow. And a couple of stones. Oh, what am I targeting? Uh, never mind. Browns. Uh, yes, we need more ladybugs. Whoosh. And stone, stone again, and one more st oh nope, the arrow finished off. And this should be the last ladybug that we need, whoosh, and stone, stone again. Uh, do we still need one more? Nope, we need zero more, just uh, the game taking a little while to update itself. We'll nip up here and grab this quest, a clear sign. So uh, what I'm thinking going forward is uh, we'll do a few side quests here. Get back to the Conjurer's Guild. Uh, finish the first step of the uh, of our class quest line. And we'll probably try to focus on the main story quests going forward. As uh, I believe you tend to level pretty fast these days. Um, right, let's well speak with Paulmont. You've come to lend a hand, have you? Well then, you're welcome to a task from my seemingly never-ending list. I'll need you to head west along the road and scrub down two of the malm stones. I swear by no forget those signs accumulate dirt and grime with almost unnatural haste. Speak with Joanna at Tree Speak Stables, once you've seen to them. She'll be glad to hear the malm stones are clean, for the next three bells at least. 
So uh, we're really being asked to cl clean uh, road signs, of all things. <laughs> Right, I believe it was down this way. Um, yep, there's the first one. Just have a quick run down here. Um, now, I don't know what I'm going to do about uh, dungeons. Uh, I think we might keep those for individual episodes, uh, as I'll probably be too focused on the task at hand to really be discussing too much stuff. And of course, if things go wrong, and there's lots of wipes and stuff, they could get uh, pretty long. And do I really want to be going this way? Uh, whoa. Um, yeah, level 25, I don't think so. <laughs> right, Opo Opos. They seem to be, um, is it ring-tailed lemurs? The creatures that I'm thinking of that they look like in... Oh, uh, ah, these guys here with the red triangle and the face inside of it. Those guys will attack you without uh, without provocation. So those kind of guys you might want to be on the lookout for when you're still lower levels. Uh, because, yeah, they'll just come after you. And could potentially kill you if you're not expecting it. But uh, for now, we need to go down here. Next sign is over here. Let's get this cleaned up. Scrubbly scrub scrub scrub. Um, let's get another sprint back to the uh, stables. Well done, Miss, uh, Mrs. Level 35 Woodwheeler. You defended the realm from that horrible level 3 ladybug and squirrel fantastically. <laughs> right, Bodwin, I believe we were delivering the uh, missing snaffle to you. Where's that damn f Where's that damn thing gone this time? Eh? Oh, I ain't looking for a Chocobo. The one of the birds is becoming a proper bloody handful. No, it's a snaffle for a bridal that I'm after. Bug has gone and vanished, see? Our snaffles are made special, see, to fit each Chocobo Chocobo's beak like. So replacing even a tiny snaffle like the one you <gasps> Bugger me, is that Aye, tis the self same one that we lost. But why is it so sticky? And these teeth marks. Um yeah, how about that? Um <clears throat> and there you go, one slightly sticky snaffle. Stranger, I don't know what foul beast's gob you found this in, or what providence delivered ye, the hero that slew it, to me here today, but you've met deepest fangs. With this here snaffle, I can finally get back to training the yellow feathered menace of mine. Take this with my fangs. Uh, let's see, that is for melee classes more than anything else. Uh, strength dexterity, so we shall get the hemp and half rope level five. We can't quite use that yet. Mm, armory chest, just all your equipment goes into the armory chest. Pretty straightforward stuff when you buy it or uh, get from any other source. That's control and I brings it up, and there it is. If you got a mind to make yourself useful, why don't you kill some mightlands for us? We train a lot of Chocobos here, see? And the young'uns go well when they get a sniff of a Maitlin. Some even throw their blooming riders. Let me tell you, it ain't easy training a Chocobo when she drops you on your head every time she sees a shadow. We've been getting nowhere with the birds lately. If you could rid us of a few Maitlins, we'd be in your debt. Okay, so uh, that's uh, Maitlings. Maitlings? Maitlins? That are uh, causing a bit of a nuisance and spooking the uh, Chocobos. Uh, Kajuana, was that the one for the uh, signs that we had to hand in? A clear sign? Yes, it is. Right, you have some most shiny uh, road signs now. What's that? You've been cleaning milestones? Why, thank you. With all the chores that need doing around here, I was afraid they would be left to get even filthier. It's not that they're just... It's not just that they're an eyesore, by the way. In that state, the creatures around here are wont to lay their rugs on them. As to why, well, I can only assume their preferred nesting trees are on short supply these days. Be that as it may, we can't have monsters hatching from roadside signs. These paths are dangerous enough as it is. Hmm, perhaps a sprinkling of stingbrew would keep the beasts away. And that's another level up. Any new skills this time? Nope. Uh, what else do you want me to do for you? Did you hear about the matter of Hurstmill? Apparently Opa Opa's crept into her stores and made off with her Muntai beans. 
ordinarily Opa Opos wouldn't go near them, what with their foul odour and even fouler taste, but food has become scarce of late. Truth be told, a good many of us are glad to be rid of the stench. Still, I can't stand to see Dameta so dispirited. Would you track down those few from Opa Opos and recover the Muntai beans? I'm told six bags were taken, all told. Dameta is well respected by all the women of First Mill, so it would do you well to earn her favour. So be polite, smile, and don't interrupt if she goes off on one of her tangents. This mill lies just to the north of here. You'll like to run into Obo Obos on the way. With luck, you may even encounter the bean thieves themselves. Right, so we're recovering stolen Muntai beans from uh, Obo Obos. I'm guessing that's uh, some sort of cooking agent, maybe? Cooking ingredient? Right, let's speak with Vion. If you want for work, I have need of an adventurer willing to dirty his hands. Hmm, no, no. I speak not of dark deeds. I mean only to have you deliver something. I myself would not dare venture deep into the Twelveswood, but you seem more than capable of defending yourself. My colleague Gillian will furnish you with the item in question, and provide all the necessary directions. She should be somewhere behind the stables, supervising the field hands. Okay, let's have a go back there and find out what it is that she wants. And there she is. Well, I'll be. Vion actually found someone willing to lend a hand. Grab one of them burlap sacks over yonder atop the crater, aye? Taint the most convenient location, to be sure. But where else can we store that stinking shite? Uh, nowhere visiting customer might catch a whiff, that's for sure. Deliver it an all and all down at Blessed Bud. That's west of you, in case you were wondering. Seems our conjurer friend takes his gardening pretty blooming seriously. Okay, so we'll grab some of these. And uh, inventory, key items, what have we got? Scald oil, a viscous yet odorless secretion taken from the underbelly of a common ladybug. This old flaxen bug contains something soft and warm. Yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, what you already mentioned. Big uh, sack of poo. So we will go around, go around anti-clockwise, I think. Uh, death to the bean thieves, the Opo Opos. Yep. Yep. Aha, here they are. Right, number one. Arrow and stone. Man, we healers are so uh, weak at dungeon. Oh, wait, hang on. It's not a case of being weak. It's a case of these guys are level 9. Jeez. <laughs> and refresh our damage over time on him. Oh, boy. We're starting to die. This could get bad. Uh, real quick heal on myself. And back to damaging. Oh, targeting. Target him, please. Alright, hopefully that error will be enough to finish him off. How's my health doing? Another quick heal before we uh, pull another one. Arrow. And stone. Have I accidentally started this quest too early, or have I just uh, not been getting enough experience behind myself? Does does uh, feel rather low level for, uh, for killing level 9s. <laughs> Potion. And are you dead yet? Nope. We're still gonna be a while yet before we get you finished, aren't we? Um let's get a quick heal and look at our quest log. Uh squirrels essential oil. Maybe I should be handing these in first before I continue on this quest. Uh, supposedly it's only level 6, but uh, those guys are level 9. Um, my playing's at level 5, deliver the burlap sack. Alright, the yeah, it was a level 6 quest. Anyway, high quality items. Uh, obtained a high quality item. Can be identified by that icon, that's the little swirly thing. 
Uh, we'll normally have better stats uh, and regular quality items. Uh, can we stack one up? All right, normal items can't be stacked with uh, high quality items, so they should have different stack size. Pretty straightforward. Let's have a look at my uh, armory, because I believe I, yes, I uh, should be able to equip this now. Will this actually help me that much? Defense 7 with magic 15. Uh, oh, the same as what I've already got, but should help my uh, damage, I guess, seeing as it's got intelligence. Uh, start on it. Oh, and uh, ring. No, I completely forgot that I had that. Let's just drag that over there. Determination 1. What does Determination do? Uh, effects amount of damage dealt by both physical and magic attacks as well as amount of hit point. So I wonder if that would have actually helped me all that much. I doubt it, but uh, maybe that's why I was having such a struggle with uh, killing these op opals just now. Close that. Take a look at our new uh, gear. Mm, pretty, pretty good looking. A little bit bland, but it's uh, something. Right, arrow. And stone. And so the rotation continues. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be feeling perhaps a little bit easier this time around, although I'm still taking out a lot of damage, which I guess is to be expected for a healer, but it still feels like an awful lot for uh, introductory quests. And let's get a quick potion before I end up dying. Hello. Uh, can we finish him off? Yes, we can. More heals. Right. Uh, have we got any lower level quests in this? Uh, we have Forest Fungwars. Yeah, probably should have went the other direction first and did that and then went back to town with this handful, shouldn't I? Uh, maybe we'll do that very shortly, but first I think uh, if there's not too many Opo Opos left, three more, we'll try and finish this one before we head the other direction for the easier quests. Uh, we've almost killed our last Opo Opo, and the Opo Opo has nearly killed me. Uh, it was also a quick potion. Right, now that should be 6 out of 6. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Uh, yep. So we'll just go back and hand that in, and then we'll go back and hand in these lower level quests um, to maybe stand a bit of a better chance. And I'm going to close my journal now because it's getting in the way of uh, seeing where I'm walking. I really shouldn't open with that left open now, should I? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wait, hang on. Where are these? Oh. Level 7. Level... Ah. Uh, maybe we'll not hand that in for a little bit later, as I suspect of those monkeys, the op Opos, were level 9. Uh, the creatures between there and the hand and point are probably going to be even higher. Uh, level 5, jumping at shadows. What did we have to do for that? Is that's quite close by and sounds... Yeah, it should be low level. Slay mightlings. Hopefully these things aren't going to be uh, level 9 as well. <laughs> now you see all these yellow dots? That's basically all the targets. Mightlings. Oh, this is so much better. Level 3. How is there such a level disparity between these mightlings at level 3 and the op opos at level 9? <laughs> Are you horrible flea type creature? Right, and how many did we need of these? Six in total? Whoosh! And crunch! And that's enough one down. Stick an arrow on him. Oh, this is so much easier than fighting those ob obos. <laughs> right. Is he now dead? This should finish him off, I think. And we still need two more after this guy, so we'll get him. And we'll target this guy as well. Oh, there's somebody else who's uh, fighting them. See how it goes purple. That's telling me that uh, Adam would get less experience than that guy does, seeing as he targeted first, as we were uh, reading about earlier. Alright, so this should be the last one we need. Oh, and Nolanel is over there. Quite convenient. The hand in uh, something. If it was the uh, Chocobo poop. For his uh, gardening. Alright, that should be the last mightling. Yep, that's it updated. Hey, dude, I've got a whole load of poop here for you. Do you want it? That order. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it certainly is. Praise be to the elementals. I cannot thank you enough for your kindness. This bounty of Chikubo manure shall nourish the plants and ensure their continued growth. Please relay my sincerest thanks to Vion upon your return to Tree Speak Stables. And a word of advice. Wash your hands quickly, lest the cloying stench of feces linger. Yes, indeed, you should be washing your hands, especially uh, at the current climate. But uh, out in the wild, um, I haven't actually got anything to wash my hands with, unless I happen to carry around a pack of wet wipes or something in my uh, ropes. <laughs> right, the fade system, which uh, just so conveniently interrupted us as we hand in. Uh, for lack of time event, these public quests occur periodically in real time. Anyone can participate uh, by simply showing up. Uh, fate will fate must roll up here. Uh, type of fate in progress can be identified by its map icon. Uh, we'll display the fate title. You will automatically join a fate the moment you cross the event threshold. Uh, anytime you remain will appear on the duty list, so that's just over here. 13 minutes 55 left for that. Got to be level 3 minimum to partake. Uh, if you are several higher levels higher, you can uh, level sync your level, which just reduces your level so that you're not wiping out every mob in the area and making it harder for uh, lower, more appropriately leveled characters to miss out on stuff. So we'll have a quick look at Troublemaking Opo. Oh, not Opo Opos again. Please let them not be level 9 ones. Uh, have expanded their territory slightly too close to Blessed Bud. Bloody their noses a bit to ensure they keep their distance. That's where they don't bloody my nose first. <laughs> so, uh, breaking bow time remaining. Doesn't really give you much more information than uh, what it already gives at the side there. Obviously it gives you progress, as you represent, because I haven't killed any yet. So where are these Opo? Oh, oh there they are. Sp 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 oh, wow, level two Opo. Op op Why can't these guys be up in the other area when I was trying to get them in the first place? I wonder if these would have uh, counted towards the earlier quest and made my life a lot easier. Oh well. Too late to find out now. We've already uh, killed the required amount. Crunch. Right, we need some more of you up there, some more. It's 
So, uh, yeah, I forget whether I mentioned it just before there, but uh, if you're a World of Warcraft player, um, these are basically just the equivalent of will quests. Now I wonder, is that progress bar count for me only, or does that count for everybody? Let's watch. See this uh, person kill it and see if it goes up. Uh, doesn't seem to go up, so I think it's individual progress, although it's uh, a group activity. You went. Uh, Breaking bad. Gold reward. Uh, six skill, not much, but the experience should hopefully come in handy. Uh, once the fate is completed, the window will uh, appear displaying your reward uh, based on. Uh, based not only on success, but on individual contributions. Uh, more active you are in completing an event, the uh, better the reward. Uh, so gold to bronze, and obviously that time I got uh, gold because I must have killed quite a few, relevant to how many uh, the other people killed as well. And I'm completely not paying attention to where I'm going, so let's actually uh, try and do that and head the crack way. The nose nose and jumping at shadows. So, oh, how on earth did I get into this little corner? Can I get out? No, nope. uh, I guess I've got to go around this way. So, jumping at shadows, that was the mightlings that was uh, causing problems for the Chocobos, wasn't it? And, uh, nose, nose, what was I handing in here again? I've already forgotten. Um, we own a stable hand, trees, big stables, request for assistance, uh, bah, 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 uh, the mysterious argument delivered to no one else. Ah, hang on. Well, thank you profusely. Null Nell inadvertently confirmed that regarding the can uh, return to her speak with Fiona. Okay. Not uh, too clear on what uh, the continuation of this uh, quest was, but we'll hand in. <laughs> Welcome back, friend. Hmm. I gather from that smell that the task is complete. Oh my, did I, f did I neglect to inform you of the sack's contents? I cannot apologize enough. That would certainly explain why you agreed to help when countless of us turned their noses up at the idea, so to speak. Well, what's done is done. Please accept this for your troubles, along with my thanks. And another level up. Uh, still no new skills, but we're getting closer and closer towards the um, required level for those level 9 over hobos. So yeah, it seems like doing these first would have been a better idea. Now, Bodween, those mightlings. They are dead. Thank you for your help. We can finally get back to training the young birds. Chocobos are skittish by nature, see, and training them takes a great deal of patience. It don't make the task any easier that soldiers and adventurers tend to ride them towards danger rather than away from it. Any route, we're grateful for the help. Here's a small token of our gratitude. Bodwin is seeking an adventurer to make a delivery. We haven't forgotten how you helped us out with them mightlands. Speaking of which, if you've got a bit of time to spare, could I trouble you to gather some aphids? You can find them living in the tangled undergrowth near Blessed Bud. But don't be surprised if your presence attracts a starving ladybug or two. They're rather fond of the wee valkin, you see. When you've gathered the aphids, deliver them to Captain Guifrit over at Etat Spire, and tell them Tree Speaks Stables sends its regards. Uh, Etat Spire, wasn't that where... Well? Yeah, so I'm beginning to think I should have had these ones first, and they would have led me up, to, uh, up there uh, when I was more uh, higher level for the Opa Hopos. Those Opa Hopos are... <laughs> right. Hmm. 
the valued Vilekin. What were we doing here? Um, search for if it's untangled in the groove. Whoop. Uh, there is actually fall damage in this game. I think you might have noticed it earlier on, but uh, yeah. So you don't want to go jumping off too many uh, high cliffs. Obviously, that was a fairly low one, but yeah. Just so you've been forewarned. Hello, Mr. Ladybug. I'm sorry to kill you, but uh, I kind of need your uh, your aphids. And I'm not 100% sure that I know what aphid is when I think about it. Is it uh, some sort of uh, plant? Yeah. Uh, oh, not quite finished yet. And, nope, oh, didn't get a chance to bonk them. Okay, that uh, kind of came out a little bit wrong for people that's familiar with that uh, slang. Oh, wait, hang on. We still forgot something back here. Yeah, the tangled undergrowth. We've got to pick the stuff up when we killed the uh, ladybug that was guarding it. <laughs> right, let's grab that now then. And head back. I presume it's, uh, oh, nope, it's uh, a detached spire. Of course it was. Wait, ha what, what's going on here? These guys are level 5, they were level 9 before. What? What? Uh, so those ones up there are level 9, but the ones lower down are level 5. I'm guessing that's because they're closer to the border. Oh, well, I could have had an easier time. After all, I just uh, didn't realise it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're nearly back. Uh, deliver aphids. Actually, that's point. Let's have a look at my key items. Aphids. These tiny vial can gather on the young li young leaves of various forest foliage to feed. So, there's some sort of baby insects, I guess? A hempen bag filled, filled with halfway... A hempen bag filled halfway with ripe muntai beans. What's that? You have something for me? I do indeed. I have some horrible insect babies. Ah, aphids from Broadwine. This is indeed a blessing. What use of way for aphids, you ask? Why, they're oil, of course. There's no better for maintaining our weapons. Were it not for your timely arrival, I would have been forced to send a sentry to replenish our dwindling supplies. I'll have to thank Broadwine personally, and thanks to you as well, friend. Okay, you seem to have something else for me. What else do you want me to do, eh? Ah, Elric, just the fellow. Your efforts on behalf of Tree Speak Stables mark you out as a genuine talent. If you have confidence in your battlecraft, may help mayhap you would agree to help us in our fight against the Exile. According to reports, Exile scouts have been sighted by the river. Due, due west of here. Yeah, it was me that sighted them, probably. <laughs> Though that area is uninhabited, it borders Tree Speak Stables and Blessed Bud. We mean to drive them off before they can threaten our people. If several of their scouting parties were to be summarily dispatched, it might give their leaders cause to doubt the wisdom of their plan. Slay two Ixali dull talons, two Ixali lost wings, and two Ixali slow beaks. Show them the price they must pay for setting foot in our territory. And my voice went really uh, a little bit odd there at the end there. Um, well, never mind. So we'll head down there, as I seem to think it was this way when we spied them before. And aside from that, it's just the... Bean Thieves at the north there. Level, level 5, level 6, level 7, level 6. And we are currently level 6, so it's kind of the right level for us, although we are starting to fall behind on our much lower level ones that we should have done earlier. So what we'll do is we'll go down here and uh, kill a few Ixal and head back to town so that we can uh, continue with our class quest. We haven't even done the level 1 version yet, and uh, they unlock new ones every 5 levels, I believe. Seeing as we're level 6, so there'll be a second one available already. Right, let's get an arrow on him before he runs off. And I'm probably committing a death sentence on myself here, but we're going to try and take two of them at once. And what's that effect evasion? Never mind. Wait, what? Is that guy asleep or something? I 
think he is. Those bubbles are telling me something. He's not doing a lot of movement. Right, so let's see. Yeah. Uh, so I wonder if that was that uh, other fellow that was just here that uh, put that sleep effect on him. Probably recognised that I pulled far too much for my uh, current abilities and wanted to help me out to uh, not die a quick death. <laughs> Right, so that's our second Ixali uh, Dull Talon. We need one more Slow Week and two more Lost Wings. Uh, it's kind of unusual that... Oh, no, they are going to attack. I was just going to say it's unusual that his friends aren't uh, attacking him when he stood right next to him getting the crap beat out of him. Oh, and we need a quick heal on ourselves. Hit. And a potion just to be safe. Oh, dear. This is going to get ugly. Um, please. Do not let that other guy uh, help his friends. And we don't want to be standing that even. Uh, Alright, get a quick error on you while that's taking effect. We're going to get a heal on ourselves. And start crunching away these stones on your head. Oh no, 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 no. This is getting really quite bad. Oh boy, uh, can we move before the cast goes off? I think, nope, we didn't make it in time. Right, uh, this is getting rather nasty. Uh, potion, don't think we've got time to get heal this time. Please no more of you guys uh, come and attack me. I need a break. <laughs> uh, put a damage over time, which I probably should have went for a heal there, but uh, hopefully we'll survive this. And another heal. Uh, ah, nope, wrong target. Who am I targeting? Ah. <laughs> right, come on, finish him off. Come on, more damage. And somehow we survived that. So, uh, as I was saying earlier, as as you can tell, uh, the guys with the red triangle will uh, attack you without provocation, as you just saw, and it can get rather messy. Um, thankfully, we survived it, though, so we'll kill... No, we won't. We'll try and find one that's on his own so that he doesn't pull his buddies to help him. So there should be some over this area here. Oh, he's got reinforcement. Oh, he has one that's on his own. You'll do. Just soak that attack up. Right. Uh... Hmm. Oh, wait. There's none uh, highlight because we've got them all. Right, now let's have a quick look at our map. Uh, back to this direction. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Although I'm not actually a rabbit. I guess it would have been uh, handy if I was one of those uh, rabbit people in this case. Then it would have uh, been quite appropriate, the song. <laughs> We're free to, we've uh, killed a few of those Ixal guys. It was bloody work, but it had to be done. Your service to Gridania will not be forgotten. Thanks to you, we now have time to plot our next move. We could muster our forces and take the battle to the Birdmen, or consolidate our defences before they return. I must needs consult with the commander. Okay, you do that, buddy. But for us, we're going to head back to town. <laughs> and that's for a little bit of a sprint on there and it is down by the conjurer's guild on our right Could have sworn the lady for Skull Oil was outside while we need to hand that in, so uh, presumably she must have been inside. Yeah, that seems to be her just up ahead, essentially. Well, yeah, I killed a few ladybugs for you. Don't know why you couldn't have done for yourself the one you level 1 and well... Yeah, they were a bit bigger than the average ladybug, but still, level 1s. Ah, you are back. Have you procured the Scarlet Oil as I requested? 
I have indeed. There you go. Have them bottles. Uh, yes, everything appears to be in order. The ceremony may proceed as planned. I am grateful to the elementals for delivering you to us. Pray accept the small token of our appreciation. Uh, that was intelligence of mine. Yep, we'll take that. And uh, nothing else for me? I'll take those, I know. Right, uh, let's bring up our armory chest. And it was gloves, wasn't it? Let's stick those on. Clearly an upgrade over what I had. Don't know if you can see any difference on those gloves. Eh, I guess there is a little bit. Ah, yes, definite difference. Yeah, apart from the stats, of course. I think the uh, old black level ones looked cooler, but never mind. Right, so where do we have to go next? I believe there was a chance to loop of the god's quiver. Uh, to tell him about... not the squirrels, that was the Lancer's Guild. What did we have to tell Chance to Loop about? Uh, uh, ah, no. We can't go back to him yet, because we haven't killed his uh, Fungwas, the giant mushroom guys. Uh, and we're leaving that one for later. Uh, with the Conjurer. Ah, we need Fungwas for our Conjurer's quest as well. Wait, hang on. This may be a bit quicker with the Ephrite network. Possibly all the amount of time that I've uh, wasted talking just then. I probably could have run there. <laughs> but we're going to stop by the Lancers Guild. Um, ah, it's inside. I thought it was that guy on the right. But it wasn't. Never mind. Right, you. The squirrels are dealt with then. Very good. I'm pleased to see you have proven yourself useful. What's that? You wonder what happens to adventurers who fail to complete such trifling tasks? Why, such sluggards soon find there's no place for them within the city. And where do they end up after and where do they end up after leaving Gridania? Well, you shall hear the truth of that ere long. There you go. Killed some squirrels for you. And uh, I kinda hate killing squirrels. I've always been a fan of them. Um like quite an endangered species here in the UK. Uh, is it the grey squirrel that keeps on getting pushed out by the red squirrel that was brought here from America? Um, Aphrite Plaza. It's uh, some kind of disease that one species carries and is deadly to the other species, but I always forget which way around it goes, whether it's the reds killing off the greys or the greys killing off the reds. Eh, kind of uh, disappointing for me as uh, one of my favourite animals. Never mind. Oh, we can get the next main quest. Uh, we should probably have a quick look at that before we head out to get um, our Conjurer quest done. Just in case it leads to the same area and then it saves a little bit of back and forth. Elric, have you visited the Bannock on your wanderings? It is a training ground found just outside the city where the soldiers of the Order of the Twin Adder are drilled in swordplay and other martial matters. I mention this because an acquaintance of mine, a gentleman by the name of Galfred, is an instructor there, and I think you may be of use to him. Go and introduce yourself and find out if there's anything you can do to help. Mind you, no, mind you do not stray from the path. The Twelve's Wood is no place for merry strolls through the underbrush. Okay. Uh, oh, you guys again. What do you want? Uh, I was looking for an experience soon, so make a delivery. Oh, another delivery? Why? I know I'm low level, but come on! Hey, boy, you seem unoccupied. You know the bannock, I trust. Fancy taking a bag of basic provisions over there for me? It's not too heavy, mostly filled with dry meats and other bland rations. It's a straightforward job that I do with a smile and a spring in my step. If I were ten years younger, alas, my tastes have matured, evolved, advanced to a higher level, you might even say. Oh, really? <laughs> but it's a perfect little task for some fresh faced like you. Worry not, you'll receive appropriate compensation upon delivery, which you may keep with my blessings. Okay, well, at least that's in the same location, I suppose, at the uh, Bannock. So what else did we have to do here? Anything else? Uh, Central Shroud, so that's where we're taking the uh, the bag of rations. And uh, New Gridania. Hopefully that gate leads us straight out there, which I think it does, but we'll soon find out. Run, 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 run. Just keep running, just keep running. Oh, 
and we've got a uh, achievement. Up in the realm central shroud. Was it really that easy? Uh, achievements, achievements. Where's achievements? Uh, character achievements. Uh, visit the central shroud and unlock the map. Really, it's just go there and find the uh, find the area, find the map. <laughs> That's a bit a uh, bit easy. I hope they're going to be a bit more challenging than that in the future. Right, let's have a look. What do we have here? We have the Conjurer. So that was Fungwas that we need to kill. And uh, what else was it that we needed? Just Fungwas? Uh, just Fungwas. Right. Oh, why am I getting up close? Ah! Why can't I target him? There we go. Did that actually count for me? Uh, no, it didn't. God damn it. Uh, right, okay, we'll get one of these guys. These overgrown Goombas. So yeah, it seems like um, the mob has a purple health bar because somebody else has already attacked it first. It doesn't count towards your quest progress. I mean, one out of three, let's see. Uh, two, oh no, it does. Uh, two out of three. Get an arrow on him. And he's dead. Now let's see, is that going to be free out of free? That is free out of free, but we still need three more for population control. There's enough one added to the uh, total. It'll go a little bit further out this way. There's still some here, even though it's not within the red area. I guess maybe these are related to the uh, fate just up ahead. Clever girls. Uh, we're not quite there yet to see what the description is for that fate. But we'll see whether there's enough time for us to uh, take part in it. Uh, 30 minutes. Progress bars in full yet. Uh, the animals of Naked Rock have ventured forth from their territory to hunt. Eliminate the pack before they begin feeding on the small folk. Is that as in uh, the Lalafell? <laughs> uh, the animals. What on earth is an animal? That is what it is, but we can't see it. We can only see his health bar. Uh, what are you? Some kind of lizard? Um, wow, you're a weird thing, aren't you? Anyway, let's get some stuff killed before we miss. Ah, no, I didn't mean to kill the ladybug! <laughs> It's not going to kill me, but it's going to reduce my time to get uh, contribution on this surface. Come on. Right, get a wind on him. Uh, get a wind on the other one, as the other people seem to already be killing my target. Wow, these guys are killing them fast. I think there's maybe too many people in this area for this uh, objective, but never mind. Ah, uh, only got bronze. Got there too late and too many other people uh, taking the targets before I got a chance to. Never mind. Right, so let's see, map. Where are we on the map? We are... Where are we? Uh... I'm confused. Oh, there we are. So that is the bannock just down there and... Uh... Yeah, we'll head down there and make a quick detour to Bent Branch Meadows, seeing as we're kind of close out of there. No, we're not closer there than town, but we're going to head there anyways and get the uh, Aphrodite Crystal for a little bit of easier transportation later on. And besides, main story quest is up here. <laughs> right, drop down here. Probably not the uh, most conventional route, but never mind. <laughs> Now, hello, greetings Elric Fandrel, Mune sent word to expect you. My name is Galfred, and I am responsible for training our twin adder recruits. I thank you for volunteering your assistance. The Twelve's word has much changed since the Calamitous arrival of the Seventh Umbral Era five years ago. The power of the elementals wanes, and the harmony of the forest gives way to chaos. A great abundance of life has been lost as the strong run rampant, stifling the weak and new sprung. Though it may not appear so to the eyes of an outsider, the Twelve's Wood is ailing, its once rich variety a fading memory. For the citizens of Gridania, the restoration of the forest is a sacred duty, and it is my hope that adventurers such as you will offer to aid them in their struggle. 
Listen to their requests and do all that you can. May the elementals bless your endeavors at Elric Fandrum. Right, uh, again, the intelligence gear, caster gear. And while we're here, we'll quickly deliver these provisions for you. Delivery, yeah? You're certain you won't follow it? Uh, I'm fairly certain. Yes, this is what you requested. Strange. I was expecting someone with rather more experience. I usually bulk at such outrageous payments prior to delivery. Honestly, I'm amazed you made it this far. These woods are teeming with animals and other nasties, ready to make a quick meal of the unprepared. I commend your bravery and thank you for your trouble. Yeah, take the remainder of the fee. I should be very happy to employ you with... Wait, did you say that? It looked like an animal. Quickly, go before you bring it here and get us all killed. Uh, again, the intelligence stuff, that's uh, strength. Right. What else do you want us to do? Track down some initiates I failed to appear for training. Ah, perfect timing. I was just looking for a likely lad to track down some twin adder initiates. Three of our nearest recru recruits have failed to report for training. Exhausted from a month of solid drills, I expect. Considering their current physical state, I rather doubt they've wandered far. Hmm. Oh gods, please don't mention wild beasts or blood. They're fine, I'm certain of it. Seek out, way seek out my wayward troops and tell them to report back to me on the double. Okay, we can do that. Now what else did we have to do? Wishes to inspect your equipment and hereby gauge your readiness for future missions. I see, you, I see you are eager to lend a hand, Elric. That is well, but I cannot in good conscience send you into the forest until I have established that your equipment is equal to the task. Probably not, as I've only got a pair of gloves and a uh, ring so far, I believe. Oh, and a new robe. It bears repeating that in the five years since the dawn of the Seventh Umbral Era, many of the Twelveswood's creatures have transformed into vicious, bloodthirsty monsters. Venturing into the forest without the proper gear is tantamount to suicide. I suggest you take some time to evaluate your equipment. Once you deem your armour to be of sufficient quality, present yourself to me for inspection. Put your head, body, hands, legs and feet with gear of item level 5 or above before returning to speak with Galfred. Okay. I uh, can view equip and remove him yep, on the character screen. Uh, design slot, yeah, pretty straightforward, just how to equip gear. And we need to be ready for inspection, are we? Right then, eyes forward, back straight. <sighs> you may as well be strolling around in your name day suit. Come back when you've acquired some sturdier gear. Okay, um, so head, probably the belt. Let's just double check. Uh, Head, body, hands, legs, and feet. So not the belt. Uh, so we just need a headpiece. Uh, we'll speak to you. Let's see what you've got for us. Uh... Oh, the adventurer. If it is work you seek, then look no further. Instructor Marius Dell needs a volunteer to bring him some bog yarzen shells for the recruits to practice on. You'll find yarzens in the river south of here. Once you've pried the carapaces from the four creatures, take them to the instructor. Uh, idle initiate. All ah, right, now we've got to hunt down these uh, these initiates that aren't doing their job properly, and I don't believe they're marked on the map. Those yellow guys are the Ogyarsons. How many did we need of those guys? Uh, four. Might as well try and do that while we're in the area, I guess. I'm hoping we can get back up here. <laughs> Alright, that's one down. Ah, this is so much easier now that we've got a buddy to help us out. How high is this guy? Level 7? Ah, he's the same level as me. <laughs> and we need to get our damage of time on. And crush this guy with a stone. <laughs> Right, there's our last bog yarzen up ahead. So we'll uh, grab this guy. Oh, 
Alrighty then, that's the uh, last part of yours and done. Hopefully we can get over here. Yoink! Aha! And we just found one of the uh, initiates. Such a soothing sound. One day I shall build a home by the river. Hmm. Who are you say the sergeant's looking for me? How long have I been here? What the bell is it now? Stand aside, I must make haste. Yeah, I'll see. I just pretty much did your job for you, mate. Killing those uh, bog yarzons. Right, let's see if we can find the other two. Are you one of them? Uh, you don't have a marker above your head. Um, 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 if you don't mind, I am trying to meditate. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Um, right, let's have a look. Here's the other initiate around here. Oh, here's one of them. Can you not see I am attempting to become one with nature? Even me be good, sir. What? Sergeant Kamazom sent you? Matron's teats. I better get back before she makes her boot one of my backside. One with my backside. Okay. Um, oh, big uh, giant tree. Hollow tree here. Uh, we still need to find the other initiate. I'm hoping he's in this direction. Uh, please don't fill me with arrows. Maybe walking past a uh, target range. Marry you style. Uh, delivered bogyars and shells. Got some shells for you. Have you come to train? Nope. Uh, got some shells for you though. Hmm. Not on your recruit. Then what? Ah, the yards on shells. I ordered Marilyn to requisition. I see he's learned to delegate authority, if nothing else. Now that I have these carapaces, I can set my recruits some specialized drills. They're already adept at hitting a target, of course, but they need practical knowledge of exactly where a monster like the yards on is most vulnerable. Thanks to your efforts, I've no doubt they will fare rather better against the creatures when called upon. You should be proud of yourself. Both they and the Bannock are safer for your help. Uh, food. Uh, directed vitality, skill speed. Oh, spell speed. Yes, please. Uh, oh, and it gives me an experience bonus. Those will come in handy. Alright. Back to find these missing uh, lazy initia initiates. Is it around this side, or would I have been better sticking on the uh, inside of camp to find them? Because I'm going outside the area. Hopefully, I can get back uh, back in here somewhere. Ah, this is what I was hoping for. Oh wait, uh, above. I'm probably not going to be up here, but you never know. Soon we'll find out. Mm, we're going to go around this side of the tree, I think. Uh, Initiate. Where are you? Are you around here? Nope. Uh, get a little bit of sprint going on. Where on earth have you gone? Uh, we've already been around this way, haven't we? Are you maybe further up past the first guy that we found? No. Mm. Uh. Hmm. Ah, there he is. Uh, just a few moments, mother. Uh, Sergeant Kamazon? Oh, F droppings, I must be late for training. Uh, let's go over to you. Uh, thank you, Alaric. All the initiates are now present and accounted for. It's always the same, you know. A handful of recruits invariably lose focus a short while after being assigned to their new unit. That first rush of tension and excitement wears off and the strain from constant drills begin to show. Reprimanding them isn't always the best solution, though. I have them a role to think about, after all. Still, I might give them a quick blast for good measure. What can I say? This is one battle I'm not afraid to fight. Okay, um, now I think it's back to town, isn't it? Uh, that was the other region, we have the conjurer population. Yes, we'll head back to town, and the quickest way for that is to use our return spell as we left it set at Gridania. Teleport. Right, so let's uh, head off uh, back to the conjurer's guild. And uh, hand in the quest that we had there. 
So, uh, wait, oh yes, it's in the next section of Wilkerdania. And we also had something else to have in here, didn't we? Uh, or did we? Did we, did we, did we? Ah, chance loop of the gods quiver. Uh, they both have Aphrodite crystals, so I probably would be actually better off staying here and teleporting first rather than running. We'll uh, deal with chance to loop first at the Archer's Guild. Right. Chance to loop. We've done your thing for you. We've killed those giant mushrooms. Well, well, the fledgling adventurer returns, and none the worse for wear by the look of it. Ha! You may yet be of use to this nation. Cheeky sod. I'll be of use to this nation plenty, thank you very much. On behalf of Gridania, I thank you. Uh, I would like the eye patch, but it won't really uh, whoop, help my uh, help my character much. I can't drag this around. Oh wait, yes, you can right click. Oh, you see, does that not just look pretty awesome? <laughs> so instead, I guess we're going to be uh, wizard set Gandalf hat. <laughs> And we should probably quit, shouldn't we? Actually, it would have been handy if we'd been able to do that quest and came back and then put the hat on and then went to the bannock and then we would have had the full set of level 5 gear equipped uh, pants. Do we need these pants? Uh, level 1. Level, yes, we should have equipped those. And we probably should have equipped those as well. Forget to equip all my gear. Oh well, never mind. That's just updated now. Uh, oh, looking quite uh, smart in that. Not uh, particularly bright being just plain brown and whatnot, yeah, but I guess it fits the theme quite nicely. Right, Conjurer's Guild. And just keep running, just keep running. Uh... Okay, Isumi, and we've uh, killed the wildlife that was breeding out of control. Welcome back, Elric. The elementals have told me of your success. By placing yourself in the midst of nature and seeing it with a conjurer's eyes, you have taken your first step along the path to enlightenment. Healing, protection, and destruction. Though our spells vary in function, they all derive their power from the same source, the forces embodied in all creation. By gaining a true understanding of these, a conjurer may call upon them to manipulate his environment, thereby realising the state of being that he desires. Ah yes, yours, yours is a familiar look, the very picture of confusion. Be not disheartened, for comprehension shall come in due time. For now, you must learn to reach out to the forces embodied in each of us. Through receive of me this hunting log, within you will find the names of such creatures as would pose a suitable challenge to a conjurer. There is no single path to mastering Conjury, yet should you find yourself needing direction, I know that the log is there to guide you. Breathe deep and open your eyes to that which cannot be seen. Feel the myriad and myriad life around you and draw upon this boundless reservoir of energy. Take up your cane and use it to lend that energy form. Go forth, my young Conjurer, and be at one with the world. Return to me when you have learnt to draw upon the forces around you with the selfsame ease you draw upon those within. The next conjure quest will be available at level 5, and we have raisins. Spell speed 8, vital. Is that the same as what I got before? Uh, spell speed plus 1. Spell. Oh, that's confusing. Spell speed plus 8%. Spell speed plus 1. So, which is it? Uh, that's kind of confusing. Uh, Spell speed doesn't seem to be rated as a percentage, so plus one is just plus one, and plus eight uh, percent. What did the new food? Oh wait, we haven't even claimed it yet. Uh, plus eight percent. I'm thinking that's slightly better than the other one. Oh well. Uh, hunting log is a record of completion of tasks involving slaying of certain creatures. Uh, main menu. Once the log is open, blah blah blah. blah. Select a class at the side. Um, tags indicating you have the uh, little 
Curlica C sort of icon above uh, the heads. And what we'll do is we'll just open that now. Ladybug, we've got none of these, but uh, it also tells you when you hover of them where they can be found and get a little bit of bonus experience for uh, killing the required amount of whatever it is. And if you're doing another class, you'd be able to select up here what class, and they have slightly different lists to uh, all the other classes. And I believe at the end, if you complete a full... Ah, yes, there it is. If you complete a full uh, tier, rank 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, get a bigger reward than if you just did the individual amounts. Right. Uh, what did we have left? After the Buntai fee, Beam Thieves, that's quite far. Uh, passing muster. Uh, we should have full set of gear to get a experiment to get uh, adventuring and exploring decently now I think level five level five level five level five and I don't think it mattered about the accessories anyway I think this episode's been going on for long enough now so uh, we'll call it there um, if you guys are enjoying the series please uh, consider giving a like and uh, subscribe and we shall see you guys in the next episode